Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to today's unfortunate learning video that I'm gonna show you something where I messed up on Lightburn, but hopefully we can fix this. This is something that I'm sure a lot of you have run into in the past, and hopefully I found a trick that, that will get this to work for you. So long story short, here is my project that I'm doing on the Fox Alien CL 4x4, and it's a large project. It's American flag with the uh, Marines logo that I'm doing for a friend. Now this is a very large project. Uh, I'm doing 5,000 millimeters a minute with 80% power. Now it looks amazing. The detail's amazing. The problem is it died. My, my laptop died literally 95% into the burn. It stopped completely. Luckily, I started at a center point of the project here. My only problem is in light burn. I didn't save that position originally, which I should have done. I should have homed the machine, got to that starting position, and then found those coordinates and then saved them in Lightburn. Let me show you real quick on that. So we're gonna do this old school. I'm not gonna do any screen record or anything like that. So right up here, you could see where you hit manage, all right? So I homed the machine in already. Again, this machine has been reset. I homed it in. I found my starting point, which I believe is as close as I can get to original. Again, I didn't save these coordinates the first time, which I should have done. I should have honed the machine, found my starting point, because this is locked down, and then saved these coordinates, which are right up here. You can see where it says saved coordinates, saved position. Once again, I found my position. I am zeroed back in where I want to start. I'm pretty sure that's almost to the exact point with a laser, if you're off by a millimeter, you're gonna notice it on your cuts. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna save these coordinates. I'm gonna create a new position. Uh, so right now, let's go ahead and manage. Now what we're gonna do is come down here, this new box pops open. We're gonna go down here and hit add new and it's gonna recognize where my position is at on this coordinate. So let's go ahead and just rename this. We're gonna call this uh, center flag. All right, we're gonna name it that. Uh, it's gonna remember exactly where it is into this point. So let's go ahead and hit okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up to here and you can see where I can select these different points right here. So if I click on that, it's going to move that position. The next time I hit go, it's going to remember that position where it, where it is. So let's just pretend that the computer turned off, everything is messed up, and now the machine, I have to rehome it. So you rehome the machine. It's going to remember these save positions. So That's what I'm going to do is on light burn, I'm going to go ahead and move the machine over. I'm going to change my distance to let's say uh, 50, okay, 50 millimeters. And now what? Watch what happens. We're going to move the machine over that way. We're going to machine machine over that way. We're going to move the machine over that way and this way and this way and this way and that way okay so now i'm all sorts of out of whack and i don't know where my position is but if you look right here it's very hard to see i still have my original line that i drew right here and that's the exact point that i started now the hard part is over here on these top of the st stars um if if i don't start exactly where it has begun those star points are gonna be off a little bit. You're gonna notice it, or the lines will be over. So that's the hard thing about this. If I would have done this the first time, I would have no worries. I'd be like, you know what? It is what it is. Just go ahead to that save position. But this first, this time I'm guessing. All right, so now here's what we're gonna do. Now we need to make sure that I don't go over all of this all over the place. We wanna basically start the lasering right about here. So I think what I'm gonna do is start that laser at the just at the tip of this Semper Fi uh, Fidelis right here, and it's gonna hopefully start and laser from this point forward. Let me show you how to do that now. We don't wanna laser any of this. We wanna start from here up, and then hopefully that's gonna take literally 10, 15 minutes, or actually I think this is worth like 30 minutes for this point right here. So let's go ahead back over to Lightburn. All right, so in Lightburn, you can see right up here, there's this button and it is the preview button. What you wanna do is you wanna take this slider and you see where the preview is, all of this. So you take this and you basically get it to where you want it to start again. So in this case, we're going to move this just to about 
year. I want to see when the tip of this kind of goes away. I don't want to go over any of this because if there's any errors, the only errors that I'm going to have on this entire flag is going to be at the top of the stars and then right here. I'm hoping that I can get everything up, that I lined everything perfectly so you won't notice this and this, but the tip of the stars are going to be the problem. I kind of wish that the, if this thing finished at the tip of the stars, I would be golden. It's going to be the tip of the stars that really show where the problem is. And again, this has this had 14 minutes left. And if you look down here, this thing was this literally was going for like eight hours. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and back it up again just a little bit. I want to go right about there, I think. OK, because I don't want it to go over the stars and see a double line on those stars. I want to try to get it as close to that point as I can. Um, I might even move it forward just a little bit and let's see what happens. So now my starting point for the laser is going to go here and we're going to be OK. So come down here, hit OK. And now what we're going to do is come back over here. We're going to go to the center of the flag, hit go. Now you notice that it brought all the way back to this point. And now what we're going to do is go to light burn and I'm going to start and it should jump to here and start over at that point. So now let's go ahead and hit start and see what happens. All right guys, so now what you can see is it came back at this point and then it jumped back over here. So now it's starting over this project. My only thing that I did wrong at the beginning of this project, I should have saved that point originally so if this were to happen i could have started off at any point so now what's do what it's doing is it's starting over it's doing the tip of these and we should be in good shape we'll go ahead and get this done and then i'll show you the finished afterwards so let's go ahead and do it all right guys so I was able to finish this project and get it saved. Check it out. Let's go ahead by it like this. It is nearly perfect. Now, if I would have done this at the very beginning and saved my original coordinates that I have begun on, this would have never been an issue. If the whole machine would have shut down, write down those coordinates, write them down on paper, put them in your saving here, whatever, just in case you lose the file. You can go ahead and home your machine, save those coordinates. That way you know exactly where your piece is uh, going to start at again for the next time. And then go into your preview and then zoom ahead and then start it from that point. And you can basically save any project without losing it. Super easy to do. I just didn't uh, do that originally. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. It's one of those things that you really don't record or you really don't do until it happens. And this was one of those moments. If you have any questions, put some comments down below and hopefully I can answer them or somebody else can answer them. I try to reply back to all of my comments. And uh, yeah, until that next video, make sure you do one thing, stay awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. That was uh, nerve-wracking. 14 hours, I thought, down the drain.